Hi everybody and out of the binary. Hi, it's Joe. Welcome to the weekend. You did it. We did it. We all did it this week. This was like, mm, I feel like this week it's extra special that we all made it to the weekend. So extra special. Um, in other news, my camera broke and then I took it in to get repaired and they have to send it away to be repaired. And so I don't get it for three weeks. And I feel like my camera got stolen. It didn't. It's just getting repaired and or replaced. Anyways, this is being recorded on my phone, so I don't know how long that will work because my storage is super low. Anyways, to the point, this is a fluffy week. Um, I haven't done one of those in a while because I took a break in December. I'm also holding my phone with my hand. Um, I'm also not where I usually am. I'm not at home where I live. I'm like, in the middle of nowhere staying in a cabin right now because I needed some time alone because here's what I'm gonna talk about for this fluffy week is it is um, a new year and people already this week were talking about New Year's resolutions or like which like you know you make new goals in the new year goals that's what I was trying to think of so I thought I would tell you about my goals for the new year because I have some. So, um, one of my goals, this is a funny one, and it's my favorite one, is to allow myself to eat more of my favorite things, like gluten and dairy things. This is an odd one because I have a gluten and dairy, like, intolerance allergy type thing, so it's not, it's, um, not really like a, I can't just eat them all the time, but I realize, like, it isn't the intolerance and shit. It's not so bad that I need to deny myself so much of my favorite things. Like, my favorite food is donuts. Like, shitty grocery store donuts that you select out of a box with little wax paper. And I, oh, since the new year, I've been going to the grocery store and buying, like, a bag of donuts and eating them. It's amazing. Amazing. I feel lovely. My intestines not quite as excited, but they're fine. They're fine. So anyways, that's one of the things I've done. Oh, and I've been drinking hot chocolate with Chaz powdered milk in it. Oh, I forgot how good that is. So anyways, that's like part of my New Year's resolution. Um, and I did that because I realized that like I was restricting myself so much and feeling so sad and depressed about like, because I couldn't eat the foods I really love. Like, I didn't want to eat any of the foods that I'm supposed to eat. And so I was like, okay, we just have to start over. Get me back to liking eating and then go from there. Um, my other New Year's resolution, New Year's goal, is to, um, ba -da -ba -da. um, well, it was going to be to find a therapist, but then I think it's actually going to be to not... To not allow myself to be in situations, if I can help it, where I'm going to be, like, actively disrespected for my gender. I uh, was trying to get with a therapist, and I talked to this therapist this week on the phone to be like, hey, are you going to be non-binary competent? Do you know what that means? Do you know how to use they and them pronouns? You should, because we learn about how to use them in elementary school in the U.S., Anyways, short story of that event is that um, she like basically was like, yeah, I could use them, but I'm gonna, I'm not, she was like, yes, but I'll probably make a mistake. And when I make a mistake, we can use that in therapy to talk about how you can deal with being misgendered. And I'm like, no, I don't. I get misgendered every time I leave the house and go out into public. So I'm not going to, New Year's goal is if I don't have to be misgendered by someone, I'm not going to be, which means I'm not going to see a therapist who tells me up front that she's going to make a mistake and misgender me. I'm like, it's not really a mistake then. You're just telling me that you're going to misgender me sometimes and that I should deal with it. Ooh, okay. Before I get on the, that tangent of being really angry about that, because I am angry about that, um... The next thing that I'm doing this year is, ooh, my nose itches when I'm nervous. I'm nervous. The next thing I'm doing is writing a novel. I've been working on this beautiful book of mine for like three years, two, three, since 2013. 
however long that's been. And this year, I can just feel it in my bones. I'm like, it's just, it's the year. This is the time. I need to like give, I need to give so much to that part of me, that, that part of me, that thing I'm doing, that project. Project, that's the word I wanted. Um, anyways, so I... So I, I am just like really trying, I'm really wanting to focus a lot of time and energy on that project because it is like, mm, because I love writing. I love writing stories. I have been writing stories since I could write words down. I've been making stories since before that. Anyways, and I like, I just, nothing excites me. Very few things excite me as much as getting close to completing a book, um, making video, connecting with people on the internet. That gives me very, like, that's pretty similar excitement, but not the same. Anyways, goal of mine this year, the novel. Like, I don't, I like to put a timeline on it right now because deadlines make me procrastinate more. So I'm just focusing on doing that. That's why I've gone away to the woods for the next month. I'll be in this little cabin I'm staying in. Um, that's why I've gone here, is to work on this book of mine. Um, so there's that and that. I can't think of what other, res what other goals I had. I remembered another goal my goals. I want for the, this year, I'm turning 27 this year. Hooray me! Next month in February. Um, and I decided this year is the year I need to transition or start transitioning. I need to find a way, whatever way, not an unhealthy way. I need to find healthy and <laughs> legal and uh, doctor supervised ways to transition. So I've been, I have decided that like, I don't know, I think I've said this online somewhere before. Whatever, I'll say it again. Last year for my birthday when I turned 26, I gave myself my name. Like, I legally changed my name pretty much everywhere. This year for my birthday, I want to give myself, um, like, change my body to make myself more comfortable in my body. So I want to get top surgery and I want to start hormone, HRT, hormone replacement therapy with testosterone. So, um, I hope that these things work out. I'm really nervous just to, like, call the doctor, let alone go in to make, like, go into an appointment because of misgendering, because it, I hate it so much. Ooh. Anyways, so, um, that is another goal of mine that I really hope that I can accomplish or, like, get close to accomplishing this year. Like, at least to begin it. I don't know. I feel very determined though and I'm glad to feel that because when I get determined I get very very determined like I'm really stubborn <laughs> and it's one of my finest qualities I believe because when I feel stubbornly like I need I'm gonna make this happen I usually can make it happen so I'm gonna do that for myself also isn't my hair like fantastically poofy that yes that's all so um yeah um, my mind's blinking anyways. I'm, that's all I have to say, apparently. So, um, that's all. That's, that's, that, that's that. That's it. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go now because I'm running out of words. This is Joe with Out of This Binary. I will see you next weekend. Have a good week. Till then, believe in yourself. Bye.